Good evening, you're watching Kini News, and I'm your host, Camelia. G15 has ended with a hung parliament. Now the race is on between coalitions to form a government. Anwar Ibrahim is now counting on BN's support to put him in Putrajaya. Pakatan Harapan Chairperson Anwar Ibrahim is confident he will be able to form and lead a unity government with BN's support. <coughs> I'm very pleased uh, the outcome of the meeting we had with several representatives from uh, Barca National to um, <coughs> discuss uh, the issue of uh, a coalition government uh, under my leadership. But um, we dis did uh, prioritize the key issues uh, for this uh, new government. Firstly, stability. We require political stability to carry the country forward. But I'm uh, extremely uh, pleased because the, the focus is on the economy. Speaking at a press conference at the Seri Pacific Hotel in Kuala Lumpur, Anwar said seven representatives from BN took part in the discussions with Harapan. Among the representatives, he said, were AMNO leaders Ahmad Zahid Hamidi, Muhammad Hassan, and Ismail Sabri Yaakob, although the caretaker prime minister had to leave early due to work. Asked whether any of the court cases against AMNO leaders were discussed, the PKR president replied in the negative. There was no uh, <coughs> reference at all to the issue of uh, present or anticipated uh, charges. Um, we did stress the importance of governance, which was shared, the importance of um, inclusiveness and unity, which was also agreed upon, and the focus on the economy. So I want to make it very clear, there was not, this was not raised at all in either private meetings or in the formal meetings. A key proponent for BN aligning with Harapan is believed to be Zahid, who is on trial for corruption. Zahid has been accused by former Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin of trying to get his court cases dropped. The UMNO president denied this. Anwar, during an interview in April, said his attempt to form government in 2020 also failed because he refused to interfere with court cases, strongly implying that his backers then were Zahid and BN. The scramble to form a government now is after Saturday's election ended with a hung parliament. Harapan has 82 seats, while BN has 30. Both sides met at the Sri Pacific Hotel today in order to cobble together an agreement to work together. PN claims they have enough seats to form a government. However, Anwar has denied this. Pakatan Harapan Chairperson Anwar Ibrahim has denied Perikatan Nationals' claim that they have at least 112 MPs with them. Is the problem. That was it. PN also said that they have submitted names of 112. You're, you're not true. I'm just I'm saying it clearly. They can okay. Okay, but he said this to reporters after meeting BN leaders at Surrey Pacific Hotel in Kuala Lumpur this morning. Earlier today, PN submitted its statutory declarations to the Yang Di Pertuan Agong in support of Muhyiddin Yassin as the 10th Prime Minister. PN Secretary General Hamza Zainuddin said the number of statutory declarations exceeded 112, which is the majority vote needed for the appointment of a Prime Minister under Article 43 of the Federal Constitution. Meanwhile, following its meeting with Harapan leaders, BN still needs more time to decide. However, they'll need to do it before 2 p.m. tomorrow, after Isana Negara extended the deadline for political parties to nominate a prime minister. BN MPs are seeking more time to decide who they are backing to form the next federal government. This was revealed by BN Chairperson Ahmad Zahid Hamidi, who chaired a meeting with BN lawmakers today. There were at least three absentees, Adnan Abu Hassan, Hishamuddin Hussein, and Jalaluddin Alias. Zahid indicated that the MPs are bound by rules to act in accordance with the decision of the BN Supreme Council. It is uncertain when the council will meet. The AMNO president revealed that a negotiation committee has been set up, presumably with Pakatan Harapan, on forming a new federal government. He also said there is no discussion with PN yet. Meanwhile, MCA President and Aya Hitam MP, Wee Ka Siong, has clarified that he only met BN MPs at the Surrey Pacific Hotel in Kuala Lumpur this morning. 
Writing on Facebook, we stressed that there were no meetings between BN and Harapan MPs when he was there from 10 a.m. to noon. We said he's certain that he only attended a meeting between the BN MPs and the BN chairperson. He added that BN can only make decisions for its MPs through the BN Supreme Council. We said he was surprised to see Harapan MPs at the hotel and doesn't know if it was by design or a coincidence. The list of 10 UMNO MPs who back Muhyiddin is false. And stay with us to find out how you can submit your own requests to fact-check questionable things you read online. A press statement purported to list 10 UMNO MPs who support Perikatan National Chairperson Muhyiddin Yassin as Prime Minister is false. The statement, which is circulating on social media, has an UMNO letterhead and is made out to be issued by former UMNO Vice President Hishamuddin Hussein. However, Hishamuddin's office has denied this, according to Astro Awani journalist Firdaus Azil. Hishamuddin also shared Firdaus's reporting on the matter on Twitter. Astro Awani and Malaysia Kini are part of a fact-checking alliance called JomCheck. Through JomCheck, Malaysians are capable to submit requests to fact-check a claim by sending a WhatsApp message to the tip line 017-477-6659. According to former AG Tommy Thomas, Anwar should be appointed Prime Minister because Harapan secured the most seats in Parliament. The young Deeper Tuan Agong must appoint Pakatan Harapan Chief Anwar Ibrahim as the 10th Prime Minister, according to former Attorney General Tommy Thomas. He said this is because Anwar's coalition has secured the highest seats in the just-concluded general election. Citing an example from the United Kingdom's 1974 general election which resulted in a hung parliament, he said Queen Elizabeth invited the leader of the coalition that has the highest seats to form a government. Therefore, in Malaysia, which shares the Westminster system of parliament, Thomas stressed that Anwar must be given the first bite of the cherry and made prime minister. Speaking to Malaysia Kini, he said Anwar should be given enough time to seek allegiance and form government. Quoting another example from the UK's 2010 general election, Thomas said the Conservative Party secured the most seats, and its then leader, David Cameron, was given the chance to form a coalition with the Liberal Party, which then formed government. While Zahid is weighing his options to get BN to Putrajaya, several party leaders have called on Zahid to step down as UMNO president. Rumours of a Pakatan Harapan BN pact are rife amidst a chorus of UMNO leaders calling for their president, Ahmad Zahid Hamidi, to resign. However, his uncharacteristic silence has encouraged more leaders to weigh in with polarised views. UMNO Supreme Council member Arman Azha Abu Hanifa is of the view that it was time that BN took place in parliament, as the opposition playing the role of check and balance to the government. Owing to the present uncertainty as to which coalition of parties can form the government, many have started to speculate that there would be a Harapan BN pact to form a government without the Perikata National. Referring to Harapan and PN as UMNO's political enemies, Arman said in a statement that both coalitions were now in need of BN to form a unity government. Chiming in to remain as the government's check and balance was BN Wanita Chief Dr. Noraina Ahmad, who said in a statement that the coalition should remain a neutral bloc in government. She explained that it would allow it to support or reject motions by the government on a case-to-case -case basis. This, she said, would help restore the people's support of BN over the coming years. However, fellow UMNO Supreme Council member Jalaluddin Elias said BN should form a unity government, but without Harapan. And that is all from me today. For more stories, you can go to kinitv.com. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook for the latest news updates. If you'd like to support independent media, do consider subscribing to malaysiakini.com. I'm Camelia. Thanks for watching.